three. Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. So if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning selves, my grown, extended, beautiful family. Just thank you. You know, being able to know that you are pressing out so much love and light towards the world because you know what it feels like to be hurt. You know what it feels like to be stuck in a certain place. And with you being able to press your love out towards the world as well as others, please make sure you're taking that time out for self-care because self-care is definitely important for you. You know, I feel like I do. You know, I got to force myself to be able to shut down when I need to so I can go ahead and stop running off of you. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, especially if you want to know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up, tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information, you will love to share with the loved one, family, or friend, or even if you don't they are needing spiritual counseling, I mean not spiritual counseling, spiritual guidance, or needs confirmation or validation towards their life path or soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, this beautiful meditation music uh, that I'm listening to in the background is called Enhanced Self Love, 432 Hertz. Miracle Healing Music, Enhanced Positive Energy, and Ancient Frequency Music. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is Twin Flame 101, Learning How to Shut Down. Um, wait a minute, hey, Hayoka is learning how to shut down narc. narc situationships i said a friend of mine that i used to connect with back in the day they told me about situationships i said what the heck is that it's like it's not a, a relationship it's just a, a, a situation that you don't put yourself in this done shit all together so i'm like oh hello all right learn something new every day but it's just as us as you know in past we have that magnet you know um our head where we feel like we we have a lot of you know toxic people that gravitate towards us with the narcissistic you know trait you know it doesn't have to be just with your spouses or a girlfriend or a boyfriend it can be with friends it can be with bosses you know all these different things and you have to be able to learn how to not engage you know not to you know give them feed off into the situations they're trying to place upon you because it's just like with narcissists they're very damaged people you know they you know that it could be a man got mama issues and the next thing you know they they place women as objects instead of human beings you know once they have got all that they can get from you they'll wash you up and next you know they'll be playing victim with the next person you know uh and you know that cycle continues and continues it could be friends that you know they you can't even call people friends when they do stuff like that you know anytime if they see something that you they feel like they have to be the center of attention it will in their way, you know, to make sure that attention is brought back on them. Or if it's something that they don't want people catching on to, they'll throw it off on you so they can go ahead and do all their little stuff on here. I'd have had all different type of situations like that I've been placed in. But I'm so grateful for those experiences because it allowed me to see what I need to see about the gaslighting, you know, about playing victim, uh, being able to, you know, see that they will not ever own up to anything that they have caused in your life because they feel like they're justified to be able to do that and it's just like when you finally see the situation for what it is for yourself as that healing process to have to go through i had to be able to learn how to take my power back to be able to allow them to see that they no longer had that whole love for me to where they can use my weaknesses against me you know uh my mom's ex-husband he was like that you know, my mom was conditioned to be like that because she had to deal with, you know, her family being that way where they didn't really show affection. You know, me and her had a toxic relationship all the way into the point where she was dying and then it switched off into a healthy relationship. Um, me losing my mom, you know, it got worse, you know, once I moved down in the same area where my mom's ex-husband was. You know, I had to learn a lot from that. 
um, finding out a lot of different situations that, you know, they had placed me in. It really took a toll on me mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. It broke me down. And I can actually feel blessed for not dealing with that. You know, when you are in that situation uh, of a situation ship with an arc, you have to know, even if you try to have an adult cordial conversation about, look, this is what you're doing to me and this is allowing that you already rule number one you can't sit up here and have a discussion like that with no narc because number one ain't nothing they don't even know the word of being an adult when it comes to discussing things and they don't know how to be cordial they will learn how when you you sit up here and call them on their stuff that's when they get pissed because they don't want nobody to ever come back and tell them this is what you do and this is what you continue to do you may have been able to fool everybody else but you can't fool me and it's just like with my situation i told you know, my ex, I'm blessed. The fact is, I, you you know, I've experienced this with you because I know it allowed me to see how things are. You know, I'm blessed because I see him for what he is. For others, it's like it's a facade of what he wants to show them. You know, when you, you deal with a person that has daddy issues, if they, you know, they haven't had a dad. You know, it can always go for women as well. So I don't want nobody to think that I'm just saying narcissistic always have to be with men because I've experienced them on both sides when it came for friendship, associateship, or whatever you want to call it, and you know as a relationship I got the experience from all the way around and I had to be able to understand you know even if you try to be cordial with somebody and allow them to know you know you're trying to be you know an adult about things and you're like look you know if we don't be continue to do this and this and that these are the things that are hurting me these are the things that you know you keep playing with me with a lot you can say that all you want to but they're never going to call fault because they feel like they're justified for anything that they have done they had the right to do it and you know and it's just like i had to learn that from my family that you know it took a lot i mean it's just like a lot of time i'll be girl you so good because you know any other time you know that when they feel like they know that secret to be able to get under your skin you have to be able to snatch that back and say no you know when you're when you're shutting down stuff like that you have to allow them to know that they no longer have that power over you if they feel like they want to start gaslighting you just like look I, you have to keep calling their name. When you keep saying their name every time they do that, that makes them feel smaller. Because you're like, hey, Sam, hey, this, hey, hey, hey. Uh-uh. You know, I already see this is getting into an argument, and this is like something I'm not going to do. I have to be able to shut stuff down like that. Or, you know, if I see somebody that I'm reconnecting with that still has that narcissistic mentality where they feel like you are the competition. They don't. Nobody likes to be a competition when they're narcs. They want to be able to be any and everything, you know, and it's just the, that sign is, is, you know, it got to the point where instead of me being mad at them, it makes me feel sorry for them because you have to really go to the extreme to make yourself feel important when you all you have to do is just have self-validation, you know, but they don't see that, you know, if you have been abandoned by your mother, you're going to have incidents where you know you're going to see women as objects and if you have never had a you had abandonment by your father you're looking for all this love to try to fulfill that love that your father never gave you so these are a lot of things that we had to be able to go through if you know an a narc is trying to gaslight you they will just keep poking at you because they know exactly what buttons to push you know when you can actually show somebody no kind of care in the world number one a narc does not like being ignored i've seen that because when they do then they'll be like hey i gotta be seen this and this and that you have to be able to just act like they're not there you know they can't stand that <laughs> you gotta play like okay you know all right uh yeah okay you know when you when you're not giving them what they want a lot of times they have to be able to walk away you know but you also have to understand when they know they can't control you, you have to remember, they'll try to control how other people see you. When my situation came about and I found out the truth, my, you know, my mom's ex-husband and his wife were working their hardest to make sure everybody around me did not know that truth. I was crazy. I was lying. I wanted attention, all these things, because they know that story was about to get out. They don't want nobody knowing these different things. You know, even when they, you know, that their excuse was, you know, I don't want no publicity or, you know, this is a lie, but, you know, scared that people, reporters going to come to their house and stuff like that. I'm just like, well, if it's a lie, what they have to worry about that for? Because, you know, reporters are going to dig, you know, but that's the whole point. But it was just the whole point. I had to be able to understand you can't give anybody power if you don't allow them to. 
you know, there's a lot of times you have to be able to shut them down and let them know their what their what they think about you or what their feelings are towards you are obsolete. They, you know, it's not irrelevant. You know, it's not relevant to you. You have to be able to have that power. You know, being able to shut them down, being able to know that they no longer have that purpose of you. Their only reason why they're there and you're in that situation that you can't walk away from, especially if you're in a certain abusive situation where, you know, um, I've seen it happen where people are getting, they, they have restraining orders. These people ain't going to jail. You know, even though the, the cops and, you know, you know, different people have seen and have proof that these people have done this to you and still the cops don't do anything. I've been in that situation too. That is a situation that universe has put you into where you need to learn the lesson out of that karmic situation because they're not going to allow them to be affected like that. You're Because y'all two are in that, that situation where y'all both had to learn how to heal one way or another. You know, I had to be able to see my situation for what it was. I'm glad I got my power for my toxic situation because I didn't have to just get catch it from my ex. You know, I was with my ex for, you know, since I was 22 years old. I'm 42. You do your math. That's a long ass time to be having to learn a lot of lessons that that relationship has taught. And I tell anybody that was the best relationship I could have been in because it showed me everything I never wanted to have in a serious relationship. What I was not going to accept in a relationship where I was going to respect myself and I'm going to pull the plug on whatever kind of relationship where I see somebody trying to control me. That's not love. Love is not supposed to put you in no cage. So you have to be able to learn what is this situation teaching me? What do they want me? What does the universe want me to learn? Number one, they want you to be able to heal. Yes, they might see all the toxic situations that are pushing you in. It hurt like hell to find out that a person I looked up to, my, my mom's husband, I looked up to, would ever do me the way he did me. And it was just like, I had to be able to take that feeling out of that because there's many a days I don't sat here and cry. You know, there's times I can still look at my dad's videos and certain things that he have placed in that he is saying that they have done to him. My family now has done to him, really put me in a situation where I was ready to, you know, throw blows. But it was just like, you know, there's nothing you can change about this. This is the only way where it can make you change. Like I tell y'all, there's a lot of times we are placed in situations and, you know, certain situations, not for us to be able to change it before I allow this situation to change you. This is where you're going to see where your power comes in. This is where you see where your strength comes in. You can't allow nobody to do nothing to you don't if you don't allow them to. When people try to gaslight you, you have to be able to walk away. You can't sit up here and engage in that because they get off of that. You know, because when I, when I shut my situation down, you know, it can get, you know, my, my, my situation with my mom's ex-husband, you know, he already knew, okay, well, I got to be friends back with her so I can be able to know, you know, be a step of the game with her. Nah, we ain't about to get along like that. You know, I already see what you're trying to do. And that's not going to happen. I felt proud of myself because I did not engage. I already seen it before it was happening. I said, I already see the games y'all trying to play. And it, it got me that first time it was shame on you. The next time it's shame on me. You won't get me like that again. You know, because I feel like if you, you know, you didn't do anything, why are you trying to connect with me like that? Because you don't care. You know, you just want to make sure that nothing happens to you. But it's just like I don't place nothing on them. I had to be able to let that go with my situation with my ex. They have all taught me everything that I truly needed to know. I had to be able to love and forgive with all, no matter what has been placed on me. Yeah, that's a hard situation to be able to forgive somebody on. But where are you? Where's the therapeutic? blessing that you're getting out of that situation it's not bringing you growth you have to be able to look at a lot of situations that you go through and ask yourself before you start getting, getting engaged is this going to bring any kind of growth to your situation no okay you keep telling people about what i had to keep stop telling people about the situations i was going into about what my family did you know pointing blame pointing fingers is not going to you know bring my dad back it's not going to change what they did you know, I had to be able to understand the things you do in the dark, sooner or later, it's going to come into the light anyway. So, you know, that had to give me that place that I had to heal. I had to take my power back because anybody, when you keep constantly talking about stuff like that, it's allowing you to let everybody know that those certain people still have power over your life. And it's just like we have to understand we are placed in toxic situations like this for us to be able to see the things inside of ourselves we weren't aware of before. You know, I, I know a lot of people 
that are still feeling some type of way about certain things and they carry that anger in their heart, that's not going to do nothing for you. You know, it is not. People get mad when they see people prospering off that. Those people had to go through something too, but there were some things for them to be able to get that. They had to be able, you, everything is like a give and take, give and take. You want to be able to give, get these, you know, these blessings that are coming. You have to be able to place forgiveness at that table and going about your business. It's just like, you know, I've said before about a metaphor. If you're climbing up a mountain and you know your blessings at that mountaintop, how easy is it going to be? If you're holding a bag with pain, tragedy, you know, regret, revenge, yeah, it's, it's going to take you a hell of a long time to be able to get up that mountain with all those daggone tragedies you're holding on to. You have to be able to drop that bag and go ahead and go because you can haul butt right up, up that, that mountain. It's going to be some issues, but it's not going to be as hard as it is if you're weighing down yourself with all those tragic experiences they have put you in. Because it's like now, you know, when it comes up, I can actually say, you know what, yes, that really hurt, but you know what, this situation has really taught me a lot. That's why anytime I tell people they are in situationships like that when it comes to narcs, you know, look at this situation as your, you know, your practice for you healing because God has placed you in the worst toxic relationship they can, you know, place you in for you to be able to see the strength in yourself that though obviously they see in you because that's the reason why they're working on you so hard because they see the strength and the power you have in yourself but you can't be able to do that they don't want you to and that's where the learn that's where you have to learn the game it's just like everybody's playing their role like i've told y'all in my videos before everybody has a role they have to play they always have to have the villain they always have to have the good guy and they have to have the audience you have to be able to snatch that award up and keep it going. You know, you got to be that best supporting actress. You have to be that best supporting actor. Being able to win that daggone Oscar and walk out is, is going to mean a lot to you. Because it's just the fact is when you see how far you have come from those dark places, you can really lift yourself up high because you can like, you, you, you have sit up here and made it through certain situations that people didn't allow themselves to i see so many different people i watch you know crime daily a lot i don't see a lot of people in the same kind of situation i am and somebody wind up dead i'd be damn you know where everything locked up ain't running free is not for me orange is not the new black okay <laughs> so it, it's just like i just don't have time you know that that's just unnecessary but don't allow somebody to steal your joy don't allow nobody to steal your peace of mind because those are the things that you have to work hard for being able to see what those tragic situations are trying to see, teach you and then go ahead and keep on stepping so I hope you were able to recognize or recognize, resonate with this video. If you're going through tragic situations or you're in a karmic uh, cycle right now to where you can't be able to move on to that next level, heal so you can be able to go. Okay? Because everybody is opening up to their next level, but you have to be able to see those things because you know when you're closer to your blessings. That's when the littlest things become the hardest things for you to let go of. So to recognize what it, what universe is trying to teach you so you can move forward. So my post notification shot out. It goes to, let me see. Let me see who I'm going to set up here and give a shout out to. Um, Casey Shaw. And uh, let me see. And Michael Patterson. Um, Patson, much love to you as well. You know, drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate. Give me a thumbs up, share, like, and subscribe. Um, and I will see you on my next video. Send, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know that your, you know, your kind words can really take somebody a long way. And know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I pray that everything that you're working hard for will end up blossoming too so i will see you on my next video much love peace and have a blessed safe weekend